everybody. Uh, my name is Tara. We are here in San Angelo State Park to talk about some really unique creatures. Um, if you can see them behind me, they are bison. So we are lucky to have some here at San Angelo State Park. So during westward expansion, the bison here are where they were key parts. You can kind of look at them and get an idea as to the different resources they provided for Native Americans, um, as well as uh, early settlers. They could provide clothing, shelter, even weapons, soaps, fuel uh, to burn fires. They basically utilized every single part that they could, that way nothing went to waste. Uh, in the 1800s, there was no grocery stores so you could just get in your car and drive down the street to. Typically, you would use the wildlife around you and that's where bison played an important role. They would provide different types of resources for Native Americans and settlers. They became pretty dependent on them uh, and after a while their numbers severely decreased so they were down to the thousands maybe in hundreds and that's where conservation played a really important role in protecting this resource and then just preserving the native habitat. So here we have them basically in what you would see them naturally about 200 years ago. So they kind of just get to roam just like they used to live a free life where they can just eat like they're doing right now. <laughs> the American Plains bison is a magnificent animal. For several hundred years, these creatures roamed prairies and plains from Canada to Mexico. Following overkill of the bison in the late 1800s, conservationists began creating small herds of the surviving bison in order to save them from extinction. An official Texas state bison herd was established in 1996 with a gift from the J.A. Ranch in San Angelo State Park is proud to currently have a portion of that herd at the park. Bison is a Greek word meaning ox-like animal. Early explorers often mistook bison for beef cattle. The Spanish explorer Cabeza de Vaca called bison Indian cattle and early French explorers called them buff, the French word for beef. The English took that name and changed it into buffalo, the name most people now use for bison. So, the physical characteristics between male and female bison vary. A mature bull is about 6.5 feet tall, 9 to 12 feet long, and can be up to 2,400 pounds, which is about the size of a car. Um, the females are a little bit smaller. They weigh over 1,000 pounds, but they're not going to be as tall. They'll be a little smaller. They are still pretty large though, bigger than most people think they are. They have a really good sense of smell, but they don't have very good eyesight. Uh, so they tend to not see things until they're relatively close to them. And that's not where you want to be. Um, bison have four stomachs or four components in their stomach. Um, so that's similar to cows also. They have a double coat of hair uh, they have a dense undercoat and a longer, coarser overcoat, and then as the temperatures get lower, the coats become thicker to prep for the cold. That way they can stay warm um, under cold winds or temperatures where they might be uh, subjected to. Bison withstand temperatures of 50 degrees below zero by huddling together, so all that fur together keeps them nice and warm. Um, the horns that they have, they both have them, male and female. They are hollow, permanent growth that curve inwards, can be almost two feet long from tip to tip. And then the female's horns will tend to curve a little bit more inwards and they won't be as large. Thank you for watching. My name is Tara Fatu here at San Angelo State Park in West Texas. Um, if you are a student or a teacher looking for more educational resources, check out TPW Discover. Um, that'll be in a link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop that down too. Um, and we really hope you guys come out and check out these beautiful creatures behind me. Um, come out to San Angelo State Park. If you want to check out any of our events, that link for that page will be in the description below as well. And thank you for watching and come out to the park soon. See you out here.